All right. I'm not sure about you, Ali, um, but this lockdown, I've been getting plenty of essential exercise. Out on the green. I'm trying. To, you know what I mean? Playing golf. <laughs> Where are you going with this? No, we're going into uh, someone I'm very excited to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, no, I've seen you play golf before. And you oh need yeah, tips. golf. Yeah. yeah, you need tips. And I, I tell do. you what, our next guest is might be able to give you one or two. He's a Queenslander. Some say that's a tick. Some say that's yes. a not so much tick. A positive. <laughs> Handsome. He tick. spent 331 weeks as world number one. He's of course the Aussie golf legend. Greg Norman himself joins us. Greg from Norman. <laughs> Hey! Good morning, good afternoon. How's everybody? And Carl, I would suggest one thing before we even get started: stick with your day, day job. Okay? <laughs> hey, it's it is great to talk to you. Um, um, we've been uh, following um, you over the last um, few months and, and uh, on Instagram and and everything. And and look, it's been tough for everyone. How have you been handling the whole COVID outbreak? Well, quite honestly, over here in um, in Florida, Carl, you wouldn't even know it. Yeah. Quite honestly, I mean, the governor over here, the governor DeSantis, took the initiative very, very early on. He didn't want to shut down the Florida economy, and quite honestly, it's been rocking and rolling. You wouldn't even know. I mean, I've had um, I've had COVID, I've had the antibody, I've had the vaccines, both of them, the Moderna, and uh, we can just actually do anything we want to do, go anywhere we want to go. So when I listen for the first couple of minutes of your show here and to hear what's going on and South Australia and Victoria, Queensland and New South Wales, it's really, it just saddens me that Australia is going through this, uh, another lockdown. I, I don't know how many of it is, five, maybe six for some of these states right now. And, it, and it's got to be just hamstrung in business and the, uh, the enthusiasm of the, of the people. It's, it's tough I and mean, it's a tough card to deal with. Yeah, and, and, you know, more than half the population here is feeling it at the moment. But, I mean, you would have looked in the early days of, of the outbreak and Australia was lauded for how well it handled it. You guys must all just be shaking your head and wondering what on earth's going on over here now when your well, life is normal. It's a, it's a focal point of our discussion. There's no question about it. I get a lot of um, WhatsApps and texts from people in Australia just, uh, you know, questioning. Last night I was on two phone calls from friends of mine from Australia. Uh, just talking about it and that we try and walk them through what's going on here in the United States. Now, look, understandably so, this, this whole process started a long time ago with the vaccine here in the United States with warp speed. I don't care whether you're a Democrat or Republican, that initiative really, really sped up mm. where America is today. But don't forget, over here, like there's one in five people, um, you know, quite honestly, don't believe in the vaccine. Mm. It's only about 58% of the uh, this country has been uh, have got a vaccine, or at least one anyway. So they've got a long way to go here as well, too. And we've seen the uh, the Delta variant breaking out in, in states that haven't really received a lot of uh, vaccines. So they're, they're teetering over here as well, too. But here in the state of Florida, we yeah, thumbs up, we're doing okay. Getting on with it, Jimmy Buffett style. Um, look, I heard recently, um, and you said recently that that uh, you perhaps wanted to relocate to Down Under. I presume that's that's going to be a while away at the moment. But is that still an ambition? Oh no, no, it's not that far away. Quite honestly, uh, Carl and Ali, it's 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 around the corner. I've got a few things to wrap up here in my business world, but I don't see it any more than four, maybe five years at the max. Um, quite mm -hmm. honestly, I, I hope it's going to be a little bit less than that, but. Uh, I'm definitely heading back down under. There's no question about it. Uh, my business is in a great place over here. And, and uh, you know, I've always wanted to go home. And I've, I've been very, very vocal about uh, saying I want to get buried in my home country or my ashes get spread somewhere in my home country. So, uh, you know, uh, I will be back home for sure. Gee, that's I think bleak. that's a while off, hey? <laughs> That's bleak. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have aspirations to living to about 115, so... I can see the headline, the great white shark wants to come home to, to die. die. <laughs> <laughs> In four or five years' time. I mean, what do you miss about Australia? Everything, Ali. I miss the people. I miss the coffee. I miss the produce. I miss the sounds. I miss the smells. I miss the, um, just the openness of what our country's got to offer, the beauty of it, the diversity of it. Look, there's, uh, look, America's a great, great place. I've had a, a very, very fortunate time and being successful here in my business there. But there's so much more that I want to do back home in Australia. I've missed being home in Australia, but I couldn't be back there. You couldn't actually stay there and do what I have done in my business career to, to get uh, to the point where I am today. So, um, you know, from my, my perspective, um, you know, 
I truly cannot wait to get home. I really cannot wait. Okay, you've got um, plans to bring. I noticed uh, last a couple of weeks ago, this real estate business looks fantastic for yeah. uh, Southwest Sydney. Mm. They're going through tough times at the moment, so it's it's good timing. Yeah, it is. I mean, look, I've been working uh, about six years now with Sikasui House, and um, you know, I've always wanted to bring my branded real estate uh, model back to Australia. Uh, we've waited patiently for six years, uh, waiting for the discerning buyer, the active buyer, the the, the person looking for this type of. Uh, development to take place. And, and I even flew all the way to Japan and spent time at uh, Sikasui's headquarters. I understood how their, their model, their construction of uh, their, their houses uh, was going to be back, back then, about four years ago. So I fell in love with that construction and how they went about it. And that one thing that I do love is their sustainability model. They're environmentally sensitive. Um, I love that about them. So our partnership has been an incredible one, a tight one, and, and I'm extremely proud. And you know, we've got 190 of these out there, and um, I know we've, we're just kicking off with the, with the market there, and it's being received extremely well today. Well, I mean, we can't wait to have you back yeah. here, and I think this development in Southwest Sydney Fantastic. sounds absolutely amazing. But um, look, your wife made a bit of a splash a few months ago. She posted, <laughs> um, shall we call them, a few oh, couple of um, cheeky photos <laughs> on Instagram. I'm asking for a friend. That friend, by the way, is Carl. Yeah. How do you. <laughs> I mean, why did you let yourself go like that? Yeah, I mean, rubbish. terrible. <laughs> you mean, let myself go in the shower like that? Or let myself go like just who I am. Look, Aussies are very outgoing people. Over here in the United States, you know, some of them frown about it. Actually, I was going to Augusta National uh, this year to uh, do uh, Sirius XM radio. I did the radio for them. And uh, they actually asked me to take down this post uh, because they didn't want the post to be the talk of that week at the Masters. So I had to take it off my account. So, uh, so look, it, it's just one of those things. And um, I'm a very natural person, as you guys can tell. <laughs> I, have, I have the freedom of life, and I, I just I love I love my um, I love my outlook on on life and. And it really is not offensive, to be honest with you. It's, it's, uh, it's a lot of tongue-in-cheek and an enjoyment. And, and uh, I look, I do look after myself. I enjoy working out in the gym and I enjoy my lifestyle. So, um, you know, it, it is what it is. And Mother Nature is pretty good to me. Well, look, we, we didn't hate it. That's, uh, Especially that photo <laughs> on the beach. My, I mean, that was... my only concern Amazing. is that Carl's going to try and recreate it at some point. That photo, on the, it's hard to recreate that one. <laughs> hey, Carl, no, you... Come over here. You work out with me for six weeks. I got a pair of blue shorts that are identical to the ones that I had on the beach. And we'll go down. I might need some surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Greg Norman. I love you. Lovely Thank you so to much, talk mate. To you, Greg. Can't wait to see you down here. Safe travels. Right, Safe travels. What a legend. So much. He's he is good a legend. fun, isn't he? Too.